today I want to show you how to create a cutting menu. So we are going to be creating a navigation bar and we are using the life extension so we don't have to manually refresh again. To start with, we are going to add div id will be equals to my nav class will be equals to overlay then anchor hit reference will be javascript script okay then void parentheses and zero then we'll add class will be equals to close button on click will be equals to close nav so we are going to use javascript later then we'll and times we we'll close the anchor tag so there we have it now let's save that and see it so there it is that times is what we've written there so we're going to add um div class equals overlay content so overlay content and then anchor hit reference would be hash then about so this is where we are going to be writing about services Close the anchor tag so these are the links we're adding let me copy that copy and paste and paste because we're going to add about four links so let's change that to be contact the other to be clients mm, let's change it to be um more aha so we have our links when we save that there it is all four links ready to be used and now we will move on to closing the div and closing the other div then we add span on click open nav the parenthesis so open and close the span so this open is what we are going to use to make this all to come to life see so from here we move on to our css okay and we're going to start by styling the overlay now since it's class it's going to be dot so dot overlay we'll start with the mm, height height to be hundred percent width will be zero position will be then z index will be one to sit on top left will be zero top will be zero and then let's say that seat so it sits on top there it is we're going to add background color rgb to like four back color so let's make that to be zero we make the other one to be zero and this other one to be zero like four back color let's save that so we're going to see it later on we're going to add another background color now this one will be like a opacity black or white opacity so the rgba let's make it to be zero let's make this other one to be zero okay then this other one to zero zero point nine so there it is overflow x will be hidden so this will be disable horizontal scrolling then transition will be 0 0.5 seconds there it is so let's save that so there it is the links have been hidden now and now we're going to go over to styling the overlay content okay the overlay content now dot overlay content Let's start by styling position relative. Top will be 25%. The width will be 100%. Text align. Align will be center. So let's 
just save that there it is it won't show because it's hidden so we'll still keep on styling we'll style the um margin top margin top will be 30 pixels okay so this will disable it since we want it to be responsive as it's 30 pixels it will not affect it even when it is smaller screens that are viewing it now do it overlay anchor tag will be padding padding will be eight pixels text decoration will be none font size will be um 35 36 pixels actually color will be um ash 818181 that's kind of ash then display will be block then trans transition will be 0 0.3 seconds okay save that still nothing shows we're going to see what will happen when we use javascript so let's go and style the overlay anchor and hover to create a hover effect and dot overlay anchor focus color will be hash f1 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 that's white okay now let's go and um finally add dot overlay yes dot close button let's style this to position let's set it to be absolute the top let's set it to be 20 pixels right will be set to be 45 pixels font size 60 pixels okay now let's save that so we're going to see using the um at media screen so we want to make it responsive now at media screen and max height it would be 450 pixels so when the screen is less than this this is what is going to happen we're going to write the code for what will happen when the screen is less than 450 pixels so we'll start with dot overlay anchor tag the font of that anchor tag will be 20 pixels okay now the um dot overlay dot close button that will be the font size will be 40 pixels top will be 15 pixels right will be 35 pixels so save that so this is all we've done so far save it there it is so like i said is in javascript we're going to see what our work looks like see it there it is our javascript we've linked it already so let's start by adding the function function open nav and then in here we'll write this open nav actually comes from here so you need to make sure that it's the same way you wrote it there so it will work so document dot get element by id since that one there is id that's what we are calling on that my nav over there then in parentheses my dot style dot width equals to hundred percent okay now we'll take it down so let's add another one function close nav to close it from there you see it now to close it so we have open nav and close nav now we want to close the navigation bar document dot get element by id will be my navigation my nav dot style dot width equals zero so once it's opened it will be hundred percent once it's closed it will be zero percent okay so there we have it let's save that we we'll save that and we've saved this other one too there it is you see what just happened let me remove that click on the open do you see that let me reduce the size 
click on it you see it see how it looks so beautiful you see it you click on open and it opens everything now let us look at our css remember i said the opacity the white on there it is how beautiful it looks the contents more services about click on the x it removes click on open it opens 